welcome to the Sports CDP Crash Course with Data Tools, where we talk data, sports and sports customer data platforms to help you deliver a world-class supporter experience. Each episode on this podcast is specially curated to give you deep and current insights on how to get the right message to the right supporter at the right time and through the right channel. So without further ado, let's dive right into today's lesson. In episode 9 of the podcast, we discuss the three biggest obstacles women's sports face. In this episode, we want to present the other side and discuss opportunities unique to women's sports that every women's sports organization should be using to their advantage. This in no way diminishes the inequality that women's sports have suffered for years and still do. This episode is rather an encouragement to women's sports organizations to keep pushing forward. So here are some opportunities that you can leverage to grow your organization, all things considered. The first one is that Gen Z, the younger generation that seems to have no interest in sports, in comparison to other generations such as millennials, are passionate about equality and so they're always eager to champion those that have historically never been championed. Women's sports are no different. This is a strong opportunity that can help boost fan engagement over social media, can help female athletes garner a big social media following that they can use to negotiate sponsorships, essentially turning them into lucrative athletes come brand ambassadors slash influencers. Herein lie many monetization and revenue opportunities. And actually, attitudes towards women's sports have never been more positive. For example, according to Nielsen Sports, women's sports research, 36% of supporters find women's sports inspiring versus 26% of supporters who share that sentiment about men's sports. So that's 10% more in favor of women's sports. 32% find women's sports more progressive versus 17% for men's sports. And supporters think women's sports to be less money-driven. Only 7% thought that women's sports were money-driven versus 39% who thought that men's sports were money-driven. That is a 32% difference. So why not strike while the iron is hot by pushing your marketing now? Another opportunity for women's sports is that various influential stakeholders, now more than ever, understand that not supporting women's sports is the best way to keep one's organization's growth small. In other words, not investing in women's sports keeps everyone down. For example, studies have shown that the only thing standing in the way of the UK women's sports industry becoming a billion dollar industry is visibility or a lack thereof. So more broadcasters are looking to invest in acquiring rights to women's sports content. So leverage the momentum. Bear in mind, however, that gone are the days where broadcasters acted as gatekeepers and without their support, sports organizations' income would dwindle. The rapid digitalization that we have been experiencing over the last few years has indeed created many amazing opportunities for women's sports. For example... Over-the-top streaming services, otherwise known as OTT, are great opportunities for women's sports to stream their own content and therefore build a following and increase their income through ad revenue. So if you're unable to get the pay that you're asking broadcasters for, why not take advantage of new technologies and media that are currently available? Another exciting opportunity that is available for women is the sports CDP itself. Women's organizations are notoriously understaffed, underutilized and underfunded. The marketing push and funding that they get is no different either. So of course whatever marketing solutions they choose to invest in should maximize their budget spend by helping them 1. build for long-term sustainable growth, 2. increase ticket and merchandise sales, 3. fill the stadium at every given opportunity, 4 negotiate better sponsorship and partnership deals, five, grow a following and increase fan engagement, and six, turn supporters into advocates. And this is exactly what a sports customer data platform can do for women's sports. 
With a sports CDP, you can make your marketing spend go even further because the CDP is the gift that keeps on giving. If you only came in to listen to this episode because of the nature of the topic, we encourage you to go back and listen to the rest of the episodes because each single episode has golden nuggets to help you grow your organization to new heights. If your goal is to deliver a world-class supporter experience at every game and you want to know how you can meet that goal and get started today, then visit our website at datatalks.sc and fill out our demo form to experience firsthand how we can help you. Or you can sign up for our masterclass or email list to get exclusive materials such as ebooks and case studies that will help you meet your goals better. Until next time, stay productive. Data Talks, we fill the stadium, you focus on the game.